Boom! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got a very special video. I actually go out and buy a mini axe here. But before that, before this video gets started, I just want to say huge thanks to Bespoke for sponsoring today's video. Now, inside this box, we're going to be doing a very short and brief, quick unboxing for you guys to show you what I got in my Bespoke box. But if you guys want your own box, it will be linked down below. All new subscribers can get 20% off their first box by using promo code FLAIR20. Like I said, it'll be linked down in the description down below. So for those of you guys who have not heard of Bespoke, it's a subscription club for guys that have everything from outdoor gear to clothes and drink making kits. Every box has at least $70 of value that only costs you $45 to subscribers. There's over a dozen options to choose from each month and the box lineup is constantly changing. You can choose to skip a month at any time, swap a box, and subscribing is completely free. So we're gonna go ahead and get into my box here. I'll show you guys real quick what I got. I think this thing's gonna be absolutely insane. I saw it and I was like, this is exactly the one I want. I've been waiting for it. It's finally here. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Boom, look at this thing. It actually came in this little ammo crate kit. Freaking sick. So, I mean, before anything, you get to keep this thing, which would be dope. So, inside, this thing is jam-packed. Look at this thing. All sorts of survival gear. So, first thing I see is this thing. This is a Surviving the Great Outdoors book. I mean, it's a massive book. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and I do survival videos. Hey, if you actually want to learn how to survive, you need something like this. So, it's got this awesome book, especially in times like now where, you know, everybody's on lockdown, quarantine. You want a book to read? This would be an awesome one. Um, to where you could read it and then obviously when this is all over or I guess if you wanted to just go out right now You could go practice surviving um, or if this gets terrible, maybe you're not practicing Maybe you actually are but first things first comes with this survival book next thing in here I see is a braided Paracord bracelet so this thing you just wear around your wrist when you're out camping hiking whatever and basically you can take it apart And now you've got a bunch of paracord that you could use for whatever it might be fishing line or some type of rope Harness of some kind whatever it might be a lot of people wear this stuff It can come in handy in times of need next up We've got a little sheath for a knife because there is a knife this beefcake. Look at this thing Boom this thing is look at this freaking sick knife oh. This thing is freaking ra- This has to be the sharpest knife. I bet this is my sharpest knife. This thing, dude, this is crazy. Look at this. Oh, 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 I'm shaving. <laughs> I just took hair off my arm. This thing is absolutely razor sharp, Millie. Millie, this is razor sharp. Can you believe it? I don't know if you guys can see Millie. Millie's checking it out. But it came with this little sick sheath thing here to where you can stick it in here. Keep it, uh, keep it covered up so you obviously don't stab yourself. Hook it on your belt, carry it around, whatever it might be. Pretty sick. Then in here we have a commando wire saw. I've actually used this several times in survival videos. Basically, you wrap it around a tree and you have two handles and you can saw back and forth. Basically, you can saw through sticks, trees, logs, whatever it might be. It's just a really, really compact saw. And then lastly in here, this has the essential backwoods survival tip. So it's got a bunch of survival 101 tips. And like I said, and it comes in this sick crate right here. So like I said, link down below, go check it out. New subscribers can get their first box 20% off by using promo code FLAIR20. Link down below, they have a bunch of different boxes. It's not just survival stuff. This is the one I saw that I was like, this is sick. I could totally use this. I'm sitting here in quarantine. I can sit here and read up, study on how to actually survive so I can make better survival videos for you guys. But like I said, they've got tons of other stuff. They'll be linked down below. Huge thanks to Beastbook for sponsoring today's video. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do the crazy things we're about to do in today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and stay tuned. Morning, duckies. We're in the new shop. I know the audio kind of sucks in here, but we did move the ducks and the turkeys here. So I wanted to show you guys that. We moved them in here because, well, they smelled like booty and they were smelling up the garage. And we figured, hey, we've got all this space now. Why not put them somewhere, you know, somewhere else that we don't really care if it smells like booty. So we've got the ducks in here and then we've got the turkeys. Look how big they're getting. What up, little turkey? How's it going, guys? Oh, look at Z. They got they got their feathers. They got their wings. I know you guys are wondering. Well, how soon do you have to let them out? Or how soon can you guys let them out and into not into the wild, but basically bring them into a part of the farm? Are you okay? Do you need do you need something? Can I help you? She's freaking out. But I think the ducks they need to have like their their actual feathers. So I know these guys aren't ready. The turkeys, on the other hand, they're starting to look pretty darn close. They don't have much of their little fuzz left. A lot of it's feathers. So. I don't really know how old they are. Like, we didn't really get told how old they were when we bought them. We've had them for a couple weeks now. We've had these guys for like three weeks. But I would say like probably within the next two weeks max, all of these guys right here should be down by the animals. So we're gonna build them some new enclosures and stuff like that, especially the ducks. I don't think, I don't think we'll keep, we might, we could keep the ducks in here. 
ducks wouldn't actually be that bad but the turkey we built the new turkey enclosure you guys saw that video but just want to give you guys a quick update these guys are well they're spilling their food you guys you guys spilled your food what's the deal with that i just cannot believe how big that one is it is so much bigger than the rest of them when we got them they literally all started out the same size we still haven't named them i know i'm just i'm, I'm kind of waiting for them to like you know like basically have all their feathers and like get a good look to them that way i mean like one of them that was completely yellow when we got them he has like like a brownish like kind of black spot on his face which is kind of cool um so i want them to like fully develop their colors before we name them because we could end up naming them based off of part of parts of characteristics of what they look like so we're just gonna have to wait and see anyways let's go down to the uh the big animals Shoo! well folks we're down at the uh the big hang on sheep larry Give me a second. All right, we got to show you guys these guys. I haven't given you an update on these guys. Hennifer, look, Hennifer. These are your cousins? Look, you look just like them. Look at that. I mean, you're a little bit different. I'm guessing you guys aren't identical, but... So for those of you guys that missed this, we bought these chickens uh, because of, obviously, the virus that's going around and being on quarantine and stuff like that, that basically I wanted to make sure that if we get locked down, because we're not locked down, by the way, so you guys are going to see us running. We're not locked down as of yet. As of filming this video, we're not locked down. If you get locked down, I want to make sure that we've got plenty of food uh, to eat, which getting these guys, as if you saw the video, we catch and cooked one of them. They tasted phenomenal, and they lay eggs. So I was going to give you guys a quick update. Their nesting box, I see one egg in the nesting box for sure, and then I see one, two. I'm going to go collect these things. Looks like they laid three eggs last night. Come here, chickens. There's your egg. One egg, two, third one. Oh, oh, chicken. Uh oh. Rip. You wanna get out? Nope. Okay, we're good. Woo. Alright, we got three eggs. This is good. They're already laying. We just got them. And they're already laying eggs. So there you have it. We got three eggs for me. We haven't named these guys yet. They all look the same. We need like uh whatever you name triplet. You know what I mean? Like come up with a clever name for these guys that are triplets. That way you can call one the other name and it won't really even matter. Morning Dale. How's it going, buddy? How you doing, dude? I'm chilling. What are you guys doing? How's it going, Donkey? How's it going? Karen! Oh, look, where's your baby? There's your baby! Look at Karen's baby! Yeah, literally, it's as big as these, because these are dwarf, dwarf goats. Uh, what were they? What were they? They're Nigerian dwarf goats. And then that is a La Mancha mix, and it's literally almost as big. Look at Karen's baby. Karen, you want to get milk this morning? Probably not. We did buy a milking machine, so if you guys want to see us milk Karen, like milker, milker, like obtain a good amount of milk and maybe make some like, I don't know, goat ice cream or something. You guys let us know. We'll do it in a future video. But we're going to go check on the cow. We still haven't named the cow. I know, I know. We're really, really behind on naming things. I just, I like to give it time. I like to let it marinate. Because a name's important. You don't just, you don't, you don't just pop out a kid and all of a sudden you're like, Greg. I mean, we did that with Steve. He just looks like a Steve. Steve. See, does that not look like a Steve? It's just, it's Steve, when you know, you know. But right now, I just don't know with the cow. What you think, Cal? She's blind. She's blinded by the light, Bonzo. That's what she is. Can you sing that again? Roll the clip. Blinded by the light. Dale's not blinded by the light. See, the thing is, Dale doesn't even care about grain. He literally just wants to be petted. He is just the most dog-like goat. Look at him. He don't care about grain. He just wants loving, huh, buddy? Yeah, you're a good goat, Dale. I wish the cow was like this. Yeah. She doesn't really like us that much. Larry's starting to like me a little bit. How's it going, Larry? Yep. See, we're getting we're getting better, but we're gonna go ahead and give these guys some grain. Uh, they're definitely good on hay. We gave them some hay yesterday and uh, checked their food and their water supply. You guys are looking good. You're looking good, Dale. All right, we're going to give them some grain. And then, you guys already know by the title and thumbnail of this video what it's about. We are getting a mini excavator. Like, that is something that I purchased. We got to go pick it up, and we're going to be doing some projects with it um, basically throughout the next, I mean, at least this year, if not a couple years down the road. But we'll do some things with it today, so put it, to put it to the test, do some lift tests, some crush tests, something, some dope stuff. But we do have some pretty cool plans. We want to build our own ponds. I can't give too much away, but, like, we're going to dig some ponds, and, and we're going to do a bunch of stuff with the excavator. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get the excavator and uh well let's go ahead and feed these animals oh we're running low boys cow cow you're gonna get trampled cow you better back up back up there you go sheep boom boom right there boom steve steve <laughs> Steve, get some grain, Steve. Sheesh. I'm telling you, this is literally crack cocaine for these animals. They absolutely love it. We're running a little bit low. We need to, we need to stock up on some grain, but everything's got grain. Karen, doing all right, buddy? All right, that's good. Everything's got food. Look at even the cows eating it. Look at Dale and the cow bonding right now. Name a better duo. I'll wait. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Okay, yeah. No, you can't. You couldn't. I, you guys couldn't name a better duo. The cow and Dale, the greatest duo on the farm. What do you think, cow? You still can't see. Anyways, we're pretty much good to go. I think it's gonna be time to load up the truck. We gotta go, we're renting a trailer because I don't have a trailer that's big enough to haul an excavator. So we're gonna go rent a trailer and then I gotta go sign some paperwork and then we're gonna go pick up this beauty and uh, put it to the test. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's kind of cold today, a little bit rainy. And also, look at this fire merch, by the way. Straight swag, it'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Use promo code Flare, 15% off. See you later, dude. 
Choo-choo! Well, folks, we made it down to the trailer rental. This is what, this is the beefcake trailer we've got. And we've got two chains, two binders. We're gonna hook this trailer up. Mom's excited about life. So excited. And then, uh, hopefully, well, actually, I gotta go sign paperwork. It's actually right there, across the street. And then, I think the machine itself is, like, on the other side of town. So we gotta go pick it up over there. And we gotta get fuel and all the other stuff. But let's get this trailer hooked up and get out of here. Well, folks, before we get to getting the excavator, we, fi we figured, hey, you know what? This So what I've got is I've got an ex it's a mini excavator, and it's got a thumb attachment, which you guys don't know what this is. It's basically like it turns it into like a clamp. Like you guys ever play the claw machine game when you go to like arcade? What are you doing, Rick? Anyways, uh, sorry I got distracted. You know you guys ever play like the claw game where like you pick up like stuffed animals? Basically, we're gonna try to play that with the mini excavator today because I've got like the thumb attachment. So we're going to a little supermarket here and we're gonna try to find some items uh, to crush, pick up, and uh, and just kind of play around with. So stay tuned. Oh God, yeah. What if we tried the game where you have to pick up a claw with a claw? You know go. what I'm saying? I feel like that's, that's a must. We're definitely gonna get a little variety pack of claws. This is a necessity when you're getting in a mini excavator. Claws versus claws. Oh yeah, here we go. This. You ever had this stuff? I'm a big fruit guy. You no, know really. Oh, yeah, you're you're, you're, you're pretty fruity. Yeah, that makes sense. This looks good. I think we should get, get this one and maybe get maybe get an orange one here. That'll look good when we crush it. We're gonna try to get it in slow motion for you guys. It should be pretty cool. There we go. Bonds has got a big date later, so I think this would this would work. Time and and, and you got pineapple. Wow, you're double downing, huh, buddy? <laughs> Alright, we're getting some. Is this honeydew or can honey dude? Honey dude. Wait, it's honey dude, right? Yeah, that's like the brand name's Honey oh, okay. Dude. I was like, wow, my life's a lie. It's Honey Dude. Honey Dude. So we got some fruit, some uh, drinks, and uh, I guess we're ready to... Oh, and claws, the most important. I guess we're ready to go buy us a mini excavator. It literally lifted the truck off the ground. This cannot be good. See, this is why I had him do this. What is going on right now? Bro, he's struggling. This is not good. This is not good. It literally lifted the whole truck up. Oh my God. Look at the truck. Dude, the truck's off the ground. Dude, I am so glad I did not yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. If I would have done that, I would have freaked out. Yeah. I would have absolutely lost it. Wow. All right, we'll get her chained up. <laughs> Look at her, she's loaded up. You know, we might have had a minor incident loading it up, but uh, I think I think it's Rob. This happened to Rob. Uh, I saw it lifted his truck. So I think the solution is you put block under, so basically it can't like teeter totter like that. So we might try to find some pieces of wood when we do unload this thing, um, just to prevent that from happening. I mean, it just it's probably not great for the truck to just be yanked up by the hitch. I think it'll be good. We got everything strapped down. We got the bucket down. We got that down. That down. Everything's ready. To to rock and roll. We're gonna take it home. I'll give you guys kind of a full tour walk around, going into more detail of everything. But I'm excited to use this thing. It looks like a freaking beast. Choo! Well, we made it, folks, back home. And uh, well, this is where it gets interesting because uh, as you guys saw, this thing yeeted my truck. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. There's not really a way to really prevent it. I called Rob because it happened to Rob. Rob said, you pretty much need a gooseneck, uh, which isn't this trailer, or you have to, he said if you back it up to a hill, um, it might work. But I think unloading it will go smoother than loading it because when he was loading it, he got to here, like there was nothing here, he got to here, and these things like flung up. But when you're going down, these this is basically your support to prevent. It's still going to lift the truck, but the whole trailer shouldn't yeet. I, I would hope so. So I guess we'll get this thing unloaded and uh, wish us luck. back to uh, I just about broke something I just bought the track don't really sound that great but I don't really know what else it'd be we had to take off the ramps basically from 
it was just a cluster. I don't know if that was what we were supposed to do, but trailer is in mint condition. We got to put it back together. And uh, I don't think this thing's ever leaving my house. I don't think I'm ever gonna put it on a trailer again. That was that was absolutely terrible. If you guys have any simple solutions or hacks for not letting that happen uh, on that same, I know a gooseneck would be better, but like on the same type trailer, maybe we did something wrong. I'm sure we did. Better driver. Yeah, that was brutal. I did not enjoy that, but we'll get the trailer put back together and start digging. All right, so we haven't given you guys quite the walkthrough. Well, I never want to do that again. Um, anyways, this is the John Deere, so the 35G. It's like a middle-sized mini excavator. Um, and I got the long arm. I don't know what the standard is, or I don't even know what this is, but I just told him, I want something I can dig deep, because we might be building some ponds. Um, and then I got this bucket. I don't know what kind it is. It's one of the bigger dirt buckets. And then I got a thumb. That's with that little, this guy right here. That's what we're gonna use to cross. So basically you can pick stuff up, which you're gonna see. Um, we've been wanting to give the animals, like the goats and stuff, cedar trees. But, you know, we're like, eh, why don't we make it a little bit more fun? Why don't we cut them down, pick them up with the excavator, and then go and drop them in. Like I said, it's basically like, this is a giant version of the claw machine that you guys would play as a kid. Over here is the blade. Uh, and this thing, I got it, it got the one that like articulates a little bit. They don't all do that. Um, but that way, like, for instance, if you're trying to backfill a slope like this, you can kind of like cater the blade to it so it doesn't just go straight. One of the excavators I rented one time didn't have that, so I wanted to make sure I've got that. And then going on inside, this thing is tiny. I didn't realize how small this thing was. I mean, when they say mini, they mean mini. But we got, it's heated, it's air conditioned, it's a closed off cab, and uh, I mean, there's not really much else to it. Like, so you just, you can basically pick stuff up. And you might be wondering, well, why, why would you spend all this money on this thing? Like, you might only use it a few times. Listen, we've got big plans. I can't give them away just yet, because um, I want them to be surprised for you guys. But I mean, I'm, we're talking like major, major construction uh, for some really cool videos. We're gonna make some really cool things with this. This alongside the skid loader. It's like, those are like the dynamic duo. Because this thing, you can basically dig holes, you can reach out and do whatever. And then the skid loader, obviously you can scoop up dirt, move dirt, flatten dirt out. So it's like, basically you can build whatever you want with these two machines so that's why that's pretty much why i got it but i mean that's pretty much it and it's just it's just a it's it's a claw it's a shovel basically it's a really expensive shovel for those of you guys that are curious super expensive shovel so anyways we're going to we're going to get started before we feed the goats and stuff we've got this stuff there's also one other thing the shop has a drain and i need to like dredge it out a little bit so we'll probably do that today but this right here we're going to use the claw to crush these and just we got claws just because it's a claw but we're gonna see what it looks like i've never seen anybody crumple something with this thing i'm gonna see how precise i can get with picking up i mean as you guys know i've driven this thing not well this one in particular like four minutes you guys saw how well that went uh but i've rented one and used it for like an hour so i have no skill whatsoever this thing so you don't judge me if it looks like i don't know what i'm doing because i do not know what i'm doing i clearly do not i will admit that uh right up front no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna try my best, but we're gonna we're gonna kind of do some experiments a little bit. And if you guys have any video suggestions, comment them down below of what you want to see with the excavator. If you can come up with, obviously we didn't get this thing to dig just to dig holes. Like we're over here day one crushing pineapple soda. Like we're we want to get creative. So if you guys can come up with a cool thing, like maybe tie a rope to it, make hook and hang on to it, and basically spin them around and slingshot them into the pond. You guys want to see that? You let me know in the comment section down below. Let's get to crushing. First up, we got a black cherry claw. Claw versus claw. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that you thing is sick. You, got, you guys got murked. I'm sorry. Whoops. Wow. I want to do that again. That was epic, bro. Oh my god. Bro, he's so <laughs> sick. Can we do two? All right, let's, let's do two. Let's do two. All right, next up, two claw. Claw versus claw. <laughs> Dude, this. I drenched the windshield with claws. It smells pretty good. What flavor was that? That's pretty. That smells pretty good, actually. Bro. Okay. All right. The claws are making an absolute mess, bro. I gotta. <laughs> this is hilarious. You go out and you buy a brand new machine, and the first thing you do is you crush claws. It's, it's, it's a must. If any of you guys have an excavator, I challenge you guys to do a claw versus claw challenge. All right. Pineapple drink coming in hot. <laughs> Why is this so much fun? Comment down below. What should we crush? This is crazy. Oh, how's that taste? Oh God, oh God. It's great. Rip. All right, uh, let's do the, uh, let's do the orange jug. <laughs> that was a little less exciting. I think it's time to go on to the fruit. Bring out the pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we're idiots. Uh, nothing else really, nothing really did it as good as the claw. So I think time to crush the rest of the claws. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. We're done with the shenanigans. We probably should get to actual work out here. I need to uh, go dig a trench and uh, we're gonna feed these animals some cedar branches. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we made it over here. This thing is gonna take some time, boys. I thought the skillet was bad. Shoo! This thing is, this thing is next level. You got foot pedals and all sorts of gadgets and gizmos and I'm just, Ooh, it's scary. The whole time I feel like I'm about to die. But this is basically what I need to work on real quick. So this is an outflow pipe from my shop. So if I'm like washing stuff off or there's water in there, but they didn't really give me much of like a shoot. So I'm gonna kind of carve out a little bit of a shoot down this hill because I want to extend that pipe just a little bit and then bury it and have it kind of like shooting out, if that makes sense. So basically I just need to kind of just make a little shallow little path here. We're gonna do that. That's gonna be my practice for the dirt. And then we're gonna go try to feed the goats. You know, hey, I tried. It doesn't look that bad. Like I said, it didn't need much work. I'm just trying to get practice. The teeth, I mean, the teeth on these things, you're really, you're, it's made to dig. Like this isn't really made to grade like this, but I mean, it got, it got some dirt out. Basically the idea would be the pipe would run straight until that hill goes down. So then the pipe's gonna be sitting up top like this. So it, basically it's a, it's a slight gradual, you guys get the idea. Anyways, that's pretty much all I need to do with this thing. I mean. We're pretty much good on dirt work as of now. We've got some other plans, but for now, we gotta go chop down some cedar trees to give to the goats using the claw. You stay tuned. All right, well, we made it down. First target, target number one, this suspicious looking cedar tree. We're gonna try just to claw it out. I mean, it might work, it might not. We're gonna, we're gonna give her a try here. If it does, we're gonna take it down to the goats. Yeah. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sick! We're good! It worked! It worked! We got the, uh, we got all the animals. They're, they're, they're munching. I'm gonna go grab one more. And uh, that way they're, they're, they're locked and loaded. I wouldn't say it's the most efficient way to uh, cut down a tree. It would be the most efficient way to, to crush a claw. I will say that. When it comes to cutting trees, probably better off using a chainsaw. But hey, let's go grab another one. folks yeah like i said was that a moo did i just hear you moo? what could you possibly have to complain about i just gave you a fresh tree i guess you might not like trees it was a happy moo is that a thing yeah it's not i mean he's always angry she kind of looks always angry i'm not really sure but anyways i mean that was not the uh most efficient cheap we already gave you grain i just gave you some new trees all right you should be happy we dropped one on this side one on the other side the goats absolutely murk these trees again i would say the big shovel right here eh, you know probably not the greatest thing for uh for just cutting some trees down a chainsaw or a skillet or probably about 19,000 other things would probably be a little bit better but we got to get some practice this thing i will tell you compared to skid loader i would say like the difference uh. 
Really? I would say that the, if, if you were to like get in a skillet for the first time, I would say the difficulty level would probably be like a four to five. And I'd say this wouldn't be pushing like eight or nine. And I know some of you big, big equipment operators are giggling right now because you're like, mini excavator is real easy, man. You should try using more of these. Listen, Rick, okay? Compared to the skid loader, this thing is a lot more complicated. It just, there's, it just, yeah, I feel like you're gonna die most of the time. Like, it, it, that's how I felt when I first started my tractor, though, which sounds weird, but they can roll. This thing, I feel like, is so top heavy that it could roll. This thing weighs 10,000 pounds, by the way. And there's so much weight in this arm. Like, it's really good that I got the extra length on the arm because you can dig a lot deep. I mean, this thing could dig, I don't know, 10, 12 feet deep, pretty easy. It's like, it's just one of those things. There's so much weight. If you're not paying attention and your arms extended out to Narnia and you go down a hill and your blades up, you're gonna face plant. You're 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 gonna you're gonna flip the thing uh, in some 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 shape or fashion. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Got the new mini excavator. Now that's pretty much all I want for equipment. I say that now, but basically when I moved in here, I'm like, listen, the only two things, well, the only three things that I think I would need would be a tractor, skid loader, mini excavator. Excavator, dig your holes. Skid loader, scoop the dirt, flatten the dirt. Tractor. Well, tractors just doing tractor things. It mows. It mows grass. It's basically a giant grass mower, essentially. So we've got all the equipment now. Like I said, you guys need to comment down below. What should we crush with this thing next? What videos you want to see with this thing next? We have some planned, some big, big projects planned. Like I said, we're planning on building some ponds um, and stuff like that. Like like several ponds that are going to be super dope, have different kinds of fish in it. We've got a lot of plans. But like I said, if you guys have any ideas of your own, I always read the comments. So go ahead and drop them down below. And we might, we just might take your video idea and basically make it come out to make a video of it, if that made any sense. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You guys get the point. Basically, take your idea and actually do the idea. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, you want this swagalicious hoodie or a bunch of other Goon Squad gear. Remember, 15% off. Use promo code FLAIR. Link down below. Thanks for watching, and peace. Blinded by...